Understanding the times. Wouldn't you like to know what the future has in store? Wouldn't you like to know what the, what this world is coming to? You know, the scriptures clearly spell it out for us. And you know what? I'm going to get into a whole lot of different teaching about this on other, you know, in, in other sessions. But let's just let's just touch the tip of the iceberg in this session. I'm going to be reading from Luke chapter 12, verses 54 through 56. Let's start. He, that's Jesus, said to the multitudes also, When you see a cloud rising from the west, immediately immediately you say, A shower is coming, and so it happens. When a south wind blows, you say, There will be a scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky, but How is it that you don't interpret this time? Jesus wants you to interpret the signs of the times. He wants you to study the biblical prophecies of what happened in the past and what will happen in the future. Now, I know some of you would say, well, we we got science to tell us what happened in the past. Science changes its books all the time. They are always finding, finding out they're wrong. Okay, the scriptures have endured for thousands and thousands of years, trusted from thousands and thousands of years ago, and they have never changed. Okay, yes, we have different versions, but the originals remain pretty much, I mean, the originals remain the same. Uh, However, we have many different versions that interpret it a little bit different here and there. Do your studies, okay? You know, um, you know. Some people think that just because there are different versions, there are different Bibles. Well, not really. I mean, we got one, one, uh, one basic scope of scripture that we need to go by, and we've got manuscripts that we need to go by. And I know that some manuscripts differ from the others, especially New Testament manuscripts. Not so much the so-called Old Testament manuscripts, but more of the, more of the New Testament manuscripts. And uh, we need to take that into account as well. And I will be making videos about that and teachings about that as well in the future. So stay tuned, okay? So Jesus here wants you to know what the future has in store. Wants you to know how to interpret the signs of the times. Where are we in the whole scope of history? You know, if there is a beginning of the world and there, if, if there will be an end of the world, Jesus wants you to know where exactly we are on this scale, okay? And we can know with pretty good precision where we are on this scale. I'm going to be dealing with this again in in other videos in a lot more detail than I am going to be in in this video. But uh, in the light of this, you know, very, very small passage that we're reading uh, today, um, we can draw out a lot of things from this. Jesus uh, wants you to know. Jesus wants you to interpret the signs of the times just as well as you can interpret the weather, if not better than you can interpret the weather, okay? So I'm just going to leave it as that and, uh, you know, just encourage you, read the scriptures, you know, do your studies. And I know there are many different ideas out there, many different, uh, you know, many different interpretations out there. It's good to know all the interpretations and different stuff like that as much as there are a lot of really uh, inaccurate ones and very crazy ones. But read the scriptures for yourself, think for yourself, and God will show you. As it says, I always say this uh, from Jeremiah, it says, God said, call unto me, God says, and I will show you great and mighty things. So as you search out his will and his way and, you know, what the Bible says and what the, what the scriptures say about the future and where we are today, May God enlighten the eyes of your understanding. And stay tuned because I'm going to be making a lot more videos about this. So be blessed as you go and think about these wonderful little nuggets of gold, I call them. Thanks again.